Hey everyone, it's Hindas. Welcome back to my channel. I have finally moved things around. I was so not feeling my previous setup at all. It just made me look not like myself and the colors were off. And But I think this is good for now. I like it. <laughs> what I really want to talk about first before going into the tutorial and all that good stuff is the reviews that have been going around on my Butopsy palette. I am so, I've been so emotional about it because I mean, this is the first time I've obviously released a product that I have created and worked on for a really long time. And for the first time, uh, it's out into the world without my control. I mean, I can't control what people say about it and I can only hope that they love it as much as I do and really just have fun with the concept and use it and enjoy playing with it. And all the reviews that I've watched have been so amazing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it because it's a brand new feeling and it's an amazing one. And I thank each and every one of you. I'm going to leave the links to all the YouTube videos that have reviewed them and the channels and you guys are awesome. I mean, I have, I have no words. I mean, when I worked on Butopsy, obviously I was really in depth about it and I knew exactly what I wanted and how I wanted to appeal to the everyday makeup lover and have it be so easy to use and fun. And in the beginning, I, I saw a lot of um, comments about how intimidating it was and, you know, people were kind of scared and that, that kind of really, it, I don't, don't want to say it upset me, but I, again, I can't control what people say about it. I can only hope that they try it and fall in love with it. And these reviews really have just confirmed that and I'm so happy. I, um, I definitely had the everyday makeup lover in mind first and then the pro makeup artist second. And that was always, always my intention and it always will be because I mean, makeup artists can really make anything work. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> and working on Butopsy, of course, I tested everything myself. I was really hands on and it was very important for me that people that weren't amazing at makeup really dove into the palette and let me know their thoughts. And the only people around me were really my sisters and my cousins. And I, I mean, I trust them, but at the same time, they are my family. So I was always, you know, there was always this thought in the back of my head where, okay, they're always going to tell me what, I mean, they're not going to hurt my feelings, but I mean, I, I did trust them to, to tell me the truth. But what I'm trying to say is that these reviews have just confirmed everything for me and I'm so, so happy. I had to bring in Timmy to say hi because, I mean, it would be very cool not to include Timmy in this. <laughs> Ever since I got Cosmo, he's been so lazy, like extra lazy. Timmy's always like, he's like a house cat. He doesn't do uh, dog things. Cosmo really does all the dog things. He runs, he plays with everything and he just goes crazy. But Timmy is my little house cat. <laughs> okay, Timmy, say bye. <laughs> So for today's video, we have the beautiful Shivani. And for this video, I'm going to be diving into Feel Real, which is the beautiful neutral brown that blends to a concrete gray. It's one of my all-time favorite colors in the palette. I love it. I, it just makes me happy every time I look at it. So stepping away from more of the warm looks, I really wanted to do something that, you know, is sexy and smoky, but, you know, give it a contemporary vibe and just have fun with makeup. And as always, everything that I post here goes on my Instagram first. I do some fun reels and, you know, I've been trying to do more behind the scenes content, which should be awesome. So follow me there. Okay. I don't want to blab on too much. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching. All right. So here we have the beautiful Shivani and I'm going to be starting off with skincare as always. And I really want to take the time to prep Shivani's skin and just make her feel special and glowing. And I'm going to be starting with the Fresh Mist and just spray that all over her face to really refresh her and wake her up. Next, I'm going to be doing a hyaluronic acid and this is from Dr. Barbara Sturm and I'm just going to be applying that all over the skin while it's still kind of wet from that spray because it's really going to sink in and penetrate much, much more effectively. And for moisturizer, I'm going to be taking the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Moisturizer, and I've been really enjoying this. I like that it comes in a pump, so I don't really have to worry about anything, and this is uh, one that I've been using personally as well. I just apply that all over the face and neck, and then give her a nice massage. 
really get things going and again adding to that relaxation and after that i'm going to be putting the milk cool eye patches i think they're called the cool water eye patches and that's just gonna help with deep puffing and i love doing this as i'm doing eyeshadow because might as well put in that extra step to prime her eyes i'm going to be using the mac pro longwear paint pot in lay in low and just putting that all over the lid it's gonna prime the eyelids as well as really even everything out because I'm going to be going in with a gray and I really want it to pop as well. As my second cream base, I'm going to be taking the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color and this is in the shade Chocolate. And I'm going to be doing kind of a pre-wing uh, and blend underneath everything, which is something that I always do. And then blend out the edges and the corners. And I feel like I missed out on a patch and then you'll get to see throughout the video. It kind of drives me crazy because I keep trying to fill in that patch but I mean once you lay down the creams that's going to be the foundation for a lot of the powder work that you do on top so take the time to really blend everything out and yeah don't do what I did <laughs> and for lip balm slash lip mask I'm going to be taking the summer Fridays and just slathering that all over the lips and just really let it sink in so that by the time we get to lips they're nice and hydrated and next, I'm going to be taking my Hindash Cosmetics Butopsy Pressed Pigment Palette. And I'm going to start with Feel from the Feel Real Pan. And I'm going to be, basically what I'm doing now is I'm trying to fix that patch that happened with the creams. And I'm going to be going in to that outer corner and blending everything out and setting all that work that I did. And then diffusing and winging everything out. And I'm going to be going into Wet Paint and taking the shade Wet and just applying that on the bare area, so on the center of the lid and around the brow bone. And mimicking the same steps on the other eye. And going in more with a packer brush on the wet side and just applying that on the center of the lid because I know that I really want to keep that area bright and highlighted. So I'm going to do my layers from now to really emphasize and highlight that center of the lid. Next, I'm going to be going into the shade Real from Feel Real, which is the beautiful concrete gray. And I'm going to start putting that on the inner corner. So basically as if I was doing a halo eye, but instead of doing brown and mimicking what I did on the outer corner, I'm just going to be doing gray. And I'm not going to bring it too far in. So keeping that inner inner corner still free of color, I'm just following the shape of her eyelid crease going a bit over the crease and obviously this depends on whether your eyes are hooded or not and your eye shape but this is what I'm going to be doing on Shivani and mimicking that color underneath as well bringing in a bit of that gray so in between all these steps I'm kind of going back into the wet shade and just cleaning things up because at the same time I'm figuring out what I want to do to intensify the outer corners I'm going in with intrafatum and going in sort of in the middle more towards the black and just really smoke out a liner shape and again you get to see here that i'm still trying to kind of cover that patch but oh my god and then i'm gonna have shivani tight line her eyes all around and this is the nars mambo liner which you know chocolate brown i love now that i'm done with the initial layers of the eyes we're not completely done yet i'm gonna go back to them but i'm gonna be applying eye cream and just letting that sink in and prepping the face for foundation and as a primer, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer Primer and then just putting that on the T-zone. So T-zone, a bit on the cheeks, and just tapping that in. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 7.5. I love this foundation. I haven't used it in a while. But before foundation, I felt like I needed to color correct a bit. And I'm going to be taking the Lift Tinted Hue Stick in the shade Rise. And putting that around any areas where I feel need a bit of color correcting and really diffusing it with the brush. I mean, these blend so easily and I don't want a heavy color correcting thing going on underneath the foundation. And then I'm going to be going in with that foundation and I color matched her to her chest and neck and it was a great match. But as I started putting the foundation on, I felt like it was a bit light, but that's fine because I'm going to do cream bronzing to match and even everything out. And I mean, we have bronzer and blush for all of that. But um, yeah, I did feel like it was a bit, a bit light for Shivani. So bringing that down the neck, and as you can see, it really matches her neck beautifully. 
I mean, I think it is a good match, but I just felt it's a bit light. And now to kind of even everything out, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty matchsticks in Truffle. And it looks like I'm going a bit heavy handed here, but again, I'm trying to even and warm everything up. So all around the forehead, the jawline, cheekbones and tip of the nose. I'm going to be contouring the lips as well, which is something that I love to do. But if you're doing this, try to just do it on the cupid's bow and underneath the lip in the center because that'll really expand it from top to bottom without like changing the shape of your lips in a wonky way. Basically, it's all about that lift. And then I'm going to be blending the entire contour with my foundation brush. And you guys know this, I love using my foundation brush to blend in creams because it has that leftover product and that means it's going to really blend everything in seamlessly. And it's not going to give you a hard time, especially with the matchsticks, they are a bit on the drier side and I have no problem with this. I'm going to be taking a different brush for the lips because it does have lip balm on and I just don't want to like spread that around so it's fine. For concealer I'm going to be taking the Dior Forever Concealer and this is the Skin Correct one I think and it's in the shade 4WO which is very olive. That stands for warm olive and I think this would have been a great foundation match overall for her entire skin. And because it really matches her skin very well, I'm going to be going in with another concealer later to kind of just add that brightness. But moving on to cream blush, I'm going to be taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in the shade Nude Peach. And on that same foundation brush where I blended the contour and it has a bit of the foundation, I'm going to be rubbing the excess on the back of my hand and then buffing and stippling that onto the skin. And more so stippling than buffing because I want to keep that color concentrated and diffuse at the same time and you're not going to lift any of the work that you've done underneath. For brows, I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Balm Brows in the shade Black Brown, I believe. And I'm just going to be really drawing thin hair-like strokes. I really like this pencil. I've been enjoying it. So filling in the tail mostly because that's where we lose a bit of shape and flicking up the brow hairs all the way up, so throughout the brow. <laughs> and as you can see, we get that really nice fluffy filled in look without it looking heavy because I'm keeping a lot of the gaps in the hairs. I really want to see skin underneath the brows. I don't want it to be blocky. For liner, I'm going to be taking the KVD Tattoo Liner and just creating a very, very thin line. Basically, I'm just tracing her lash line and then doing a tiny wing out. Okay, maybe not so tiny, but a very thin wing that extends out and pulls the eye, following the eyeshadow shape that we've done. And repeat the same steps on the other eye. Taking a bit of that paint pot, I'm going to be putting it on the center of the lower lashes, just to really create that nice puffy kind of look that mimics the top. <laughs> and again, setting the center with the wet shade. And that's going to really highlight it and bring it forward. Now I'm taking a mix of tan and feel and just focusing that on the outer corners of the lower lash line and diffusing it in. To bring an extra highlight and warmth to the face, I'm going to be taking the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Biscuit and just tapping that on the areas where I feel need a bit more lifting and brightness. And setting everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder with a very fluffy light brush. Because we've done a lot of cream work and I've done color correcting and I just want things to be nice and set. And again, going back in with that gray because I am working back and forth and that, that's just how I like to work. <laughs> and then I'm going to be going into Feel Real and taking the mix right in the center and that's what I'm going to be using to contour. And I'm going to start with her nose, so doing the tip and across the tip as well, which is something I always love to do. And then on more of a blush brush, I'm taking Feel Real again, and I'm going to be using that as a contour. So starting from the hairline and bringing it in. And a bit of feel on the forehead. For mascara, Shivani is going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lashes. And just wiggling that through her lashes, because then I'm going to be doing individuals. So you're suddenly going to see her with individual lashes at some point in the video. <laughs> Now dipping back into the Feel Real shade and more into the gray, I'm just going to set her brows and kind of diffuse the lines that I've done with the pencil and make them look more fluffy and more blended and believable. So nothing crazy, just a very light layer. 
as if I'm brushing them through. And for highlighter, I'm taking the Becca Champagne Pop and I'm starting with the nose and I don't know why I stop halfway a bit on the chin and then move back to eyes. And what I did with eyes is basically put Mambo on the inner corners and then darkened the outer edges with Intra, which is the dark chocolate brown in the palette. And again, skipping highlighter for some reason, I go right into lips and I'm taking the Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is number five and just focusing that on the edge. So just creating a lip line, not really filling it in. For filling everything in, I'm going to be taking the KKW lipstick in 2.5. And with the lip brush, I'm going to be placing that on the center of the lip and then pulling it in with the lip liner. So kind of erasing the lip liner and blending it in. And that's just going to create that really beautiful peachy caramel nude lip that I feel really complements the gray and the taupey brown tones that we've done. And of course, going more peachy on the cheeks, I'm taking Boy from Boy Wonder, which is that beautiful peach and Feel from Feel Real, which is a brown and creating a mix of this very warm peachy bronze and using that as blush. So now you're blending in that contour that we've done and we're adding that warmth and the blush and it really ties in with the cool tones and it creates this really interesting contrast. And these powders are so blendable and so thin and they're so forgiving. Anyone can really create looks that are basically blended to perfection. Okay, this is where the Becca highlighter comes back in, finally on the cheekbones, and yeah, it looks amazing. As my final step, I'm gonna be taking an eyeliner brush and dipping into Intra, which is that chocolate brown, and I'm gonna kind of bring back her beauty marks, which is something I love, love to do. And if you feel like it's a bit harsh, you can always tap them in. And that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, Feel Real is one of my all-time favorite pants from the palette. It's so fun, it's very interesting, and it is the most versatile. You can really blend it with any of the colors, and you get so many different multi-dimensional looks out of it. And as you can see, blending that cool tone with the warm tones and really just neutralizing everything, you can really just create endless, endless looks. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you got the palette, let me know if you would recreate this look. And as always, you can shop Beautopsy exclusively on my website, which is hindash.com. And yeah, leave me your thoughts below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.